What's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. We are here on the Biosyn Valley square map, and I was thinking in today's video, I kind of wanted to make a, um, a Biosyn Valley accurate park. What I mean by that is, I want to kind of make a park that's accurate, but have my own spin on it with like all the dinosaurs featured in Biosyn Valley. I'm gonna go with the ones on the wiki first, and then if I wanna add in dinosaurs that are my OCs, then I'll add them in as well. But for now, we'll just focus on that. And since this is a Biosyn park, we're gonna stay with the Biosyn buildings. I don't think the Biosyn building has an arrival point, so we're gonna have to go with a Jurassic World arrival point, unless, what about a Malta one? Hmm, maybe Malta, because that seems more Biosyn-esque. We'll go with that. I won't put it on, like, the end. I'll probably put it, like, maybe here. Yeah, that's where we'll put it. And then what we could do is, like, build a path, of course. And this means we're going to use invisible fences for the park itself. Now, for operations, let's go back to Biosyn. This building is purely decorative. Oh, is this the, um... Now, is... Wait a minute, is that the same thing as... Hold on. Uh, give me a minute. Hmm. Yeah, this might be a bit complicated. Let's just... Let's just stick with that arrival point, the Jurassic World arrival point. So, let's go back to Jurassic World. Put this, I guess. Looks a little crooked, but whatever. Okay, let's go back into Biosyn Valley. I kind of want to make this like a Biosyn... Like, so you know it's a Biosyn thing. So I guess we'll put in the Fossil Center for decorative purposes. And then I guess what we could do is throw in the staff center, again, for decorating purposes. Even though we won't have any scientists. Because I have scientists turned off. Maybe the paleo medical facility? Just in case dinosaurs feel like starving. We'll throw that in. And then maybe upgrade it so then, what's it, additional MVU and scheduling. We'll throw that in. And then, this will be like the facility. What's this? Response. Response facility. We can throw that in as well. There we go. That's the facilities done. Now all we need are basically amenities. We're gonna have to go to Jurassic World to get the amenities. They only have emergency shelters. So what we might as well do is just get some amenities going. We'll put in a, um... We'll put this on the other end. We'll throw in a food. And then next to that, we'll throw in a drink. And then next to that, we'll throw in a shopping. Across the way, we could have a, a restroom. And since Biosyn does have an emergency shelter, we'll use the Biosyn emergency shelter. Okay. It is looking Biosyn-esque so far. Let's see, um, Biosyn helicopter. All right, now it's time to add in our, hold on, before we do that, do we have Biosyn hotels? Make it close to Biosyn anyway. Yeah, it's not really a professional hotel, but it's like, let's see how that looks. Uh, I mean, it's good per se. Everything's conveniently placed, and I'm and we'll have to add more buildings as time goes on. But anyway, let's um, let's work on our first dinosaur. So so our first enclosure will entail. I don't know. What could we put in for our first enclosure? We got the invisible fence. Well, I know one thing. We need to make enough room so then we could put a viewing gallery in. 
Maybe for this, we could put in, like, some small herbivores. Maybe, like, Gallimimus or something. And maybe Nasudoceratops. You know, small herbivores. Okay, I'm gonna have to go through the list of what dinosaurs will go in where, but first, let's make the environment. There we go. We need to make it as homey as possible. And then what we could do is, like, is this a research outpost? Hmm. We could probably add that in later on. For right now, let's just get a, um, maybe a Malta viewing gallery. Okay, it will connect. It just doesn't want to connect. Luxury main through face. Okay, I may have to re I may have to move this. Give me a second. It's just so we have more room. There we go. And then we can add in the viewing gallery. And a path. There we go. All right. And then I guess get rid of this extra path. There we go. That's looking good. And then what we could do is add in a, um, a viewing dome. We'll put two in. We'll put one on one side. And we'll put one on the other side. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That way people can view the dinosaurs from the safety of everything. Alright. And then get rid of this extra path. There we go. Alright, that's looking good so far. Now what we need is a hatchery to release the dinosaurs. So let's get a Biosyn-styled hatchery. That'll make it ten times easier. And then I can just move this over to here. Just so the dinosaurs will have room. Okay, now what I'm going to do is pull out my iPad and we'll see the list of dinosaurs that are in the park. Okay, I've got it right here. Let's see what kind of dinosaurs. So we got... Ankylosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Compsognathus, Dilophosaurus, Dimetrodon, Dreadnoughtus, Gallimimus, Giganotosaurus, Iguanodon, Morocentrepidus, Nasudoceratops, Parasaurolophus, Pteranodon, Pyroraptor, Quetzalcoatlus, Cynoceratops, Stegosaurus, Therizinosaurus, Triceratops, T Rex, and Velociraptor. So for this enclosure, I'm thinking. Um, Gallimimus, Iguanodon, and Nasudoceratops. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm thinking. Let's update to additional bays and accelerated growth. And then what we need is... What did I say? Oh, Gallimimus, Nasudoceratops, and... Hold on. I think Ankylosaurs do like Ceratopsians. Yes, they do. Okay, so... This shouldn't really be a problem. Okay. So I'm thinking we throw an Ankylosaurus. We'll get some randomized genomes for that. We don't have to be accurate for these because I don't think we've seen any Ankylosaurs in the movie. Well, at least in the Biosyn part, anyway. If we have, let me know in the comments. Alright, let's um, throw those in. The Gallimimus, I do believe, are from... Nublar... So maybe randomize those skins. And for some of the other dinosaurs, like the Giganotosaurus, the Rizinosaurus, the ones that we did see, we'll have to be a little more accurate with those with when it comes to the skins. But for right now, we can just... We can just do whatever. Get a little bit creative. Do we at least have a 1993 galley? We do. Awesome. All right, let's get all of them in. The same with the Nasudos. And the same with the Ankylosaurs. Hey, Bumpy's here. Nice. I don't I know that's not really accurate, but whatever. Let's release the Gallimimus first. So we have our first dinosaur anyway. <laughs> And then later on, when this is done, if I want to add my OCs, then we will. Alright, that's done. Let's release the Nasudos next. Yeah, we're starting with the Herbivores. 
when we get to the T-Rex, I will add all three. The Rexy and the Lost World T-Rexes. They will be on here, so. I could randomize them and hope to get the best, but it'll be better and much more efficient if I keep them accurate. No, wait, Iguanodon. That's what I wanted, Iguanodon. Now with Iguanodon, we are going to stick with the Dominion skin, and then we'll just randomize them. Yeah, that's what I ended up wanting. Okay, let's release the Ankylosaurus. At least they'll get on with the Pseudoceratops. So this is a relatively small enclosure. And it will give out the illusion that dinosaurs have freedom, even though they have physical defenses. There's Bumpy in the back there. I don't know if you can see her because the two other ankylosaurs are blocking her way, but she's there. In all of her glory. And that'll be the last dinosaur for this enclosure before we move on to the next. And I'm thinking we have... Gyrosphere could work for this because Biosyn is known for having a futuristic vibe to it. So... And the, the Gyrosphere is very futuristic, so... I guess we could add that in. Just so we have, like, a tour park. And we'll throw in, like, um... Parasaurolophus, Triceratops, I don't know, other stuff. Let's release the Iguanodons. <laughs> the Iguanodon just fades out. That's fine. Uh, we got the Iguanodons anyway. We're already at four stars. Because I just had the settings set to easy, I guess. So, so far we've got one enclosure and the park is looking good. Before we move on to the big enclosure, that's like all the herbivores and whatnot, like Parasaurolophus and uh, Sinoceratops or Triceratops, whatever, I would like to add in like a carnivore of some sort. Let's work on the Dilophosaur enclosure next. And you know what? Let's put in a gate. Just in case things are needed. Okay, this could be in like the back. Wait, what do you mean, dinosaur threat? Oh. Um, why is the Gallimimus a dinosaur threat? Why are you to- why are you a danger to guests? You're in your enclosure. Oh. You know what, I'm not even gonna waste my time with that. Let's just, um, let's just get the viewing gallery in. What's this? Research outpost. Oh yeah, we need like a tunnel thing. A tunnel system for this. Um, you know what, we might have to put in that other thing. Let's um, go into operations and throw this in the control center. Because I feel like we are gonna need that if we wanna use the research outpost. Connect that to the tunnel. And then connect this to that. There we go. Now we have a control center. And then what I'm thinking we could do is when we add in the path, we could throw in other enclosures in between. And then, um... No, wait. With this, we don't even need it. So let's just get rid of this. I'm planning on moving the hatchery anyway. So let's move the hatchery to a more... So then it will be convenient. Well, hold on. What do you mean? What do you mean, danger to guests? Why are they a danger to guests? What's going on here? Is it the domes? I don't know. Maybe it might be the domes. I'm not 100% sure. The invisible fences are active. I don't know what the hell's going on, but whatever. Whatever, let's just make the Dilophosaur enclosure. And then to make it more a little more convenient, we'll put in a um, viewing door. 
just in case people don't use the research things. I will have to place a path. Straighten out that path. There we go. Okay, we can't go that way. So we're gonna have to make a path going this way. Looks a little weird, but it'll work for right now. Okay, Dilophosaurus. I'm thinking for Dilophosaurus we use all Dominion Dilophosaurus. Like the 2022 skin. Alright, we're throwing in the Dilophosaurus next. Let's go. Okay, the Dilophosaurs have been thrown in. Now we can move on to the next enclosure. I'm thinking we could have like a, a big enclosure filled with loads of herbivores. Yeah, 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 we could do that. And then we could have like a gyrosphere tour. That's what I'm thinking. This is the big enclosure with a lot of herbivores in it. Or at least it's supposed to be anyway. And I don't really care what herbivores like and what and what they don't like, so. We'll just throw them all in. So like Sinoceratops, Triceratops, and um Brachiosaurus and Dreadnoughtus, they're all gonna go in. So I'm thinking a gyrosphere is the most futuristic thing to do in this situation. So So we'll throw this in. There we go. And then we're going to have to put in a path. All right, and let's um, move the building. Just so we have a place to put our stuff. There we go. And then for this, let's just remove this extra path. Oh, actually, we need that path. I just realized. There we go. All right. Maybe we could throw in another enclosure here. But yeah, okay. So the dinosaurs I'm planning on throwing in are Brachiosaurus, for obvious reasons. We need Brachiosaurus. Um, let's see what else is in it. Let me let me take a look at the uh, the list again. Dreadnoughtus, Scalamimus, Parasaurolophus. Stegosaurus, Sinoceratops, and uh, Therizinosaurus and Triceratops. So everything minus Therizinosaurus will be in here. So, okay, so we'll throw in Parasaurolophus. We'll also throw in Sinoceratops. And we'll also throw in Triceratops. I have combat frequency turned off, so it doesn't really matter. And Stegosaurus, we'll throw that in as well. I think I'll just, for Stegosaurus, I'll just go with the Lost World Stegos. That's what I'll do. Oh, we got a Dominion Parasaur. No, two Dominion Parasaurs and a Lux Parasaur. That works. All right, the Brachiosaurus, the Triceratops. Do we at least have a Jurassic Park Triceratops? No, okay. I guess we'll throw those in then. And these are all Lost World Stegos. Let's throw the Parasaurs in first. That's the Lux one in front. Water. I should probably put in water. A big watering hole. There we go. Okay, let's throw in the next one, which is, I guess, Triceratops. We'll throw that in next. Let's 
Let's move on to the Sinos. <laughs> And then at some point when this park is finished, I'm going to have all the dinosaurs be set free. To give it that sanctuary vibe. No, they don't like Triceratops. They like other Ceratopsians, just not Triceratops, Staracosaurus, Taurosaurus, or Pachyrhinosaurus. Okay, but you know what? I really don't care at this point. Throw in the Stegosaurs! and Therizinosaurus, and I'm pretty sure that'll be all the herbivores. So Therizinosaurus will go in its own enclosure, without a doubt. I had an idea for the big apexes, like T-Rex, Giganotosaurus, and Therizinosaurus. I had an idea. And then what we could do here is add more amenities. Because they're probably going to be in high demand at this point, so... And then... We shall throw a food next to that. There we go. And we should probably make sure everyone's satisfied at this point. So let's configure this. So instead of sushi, let's make burgers and fries. Okay, that's them satisfied. That's these two satisfied. And boom. All right, that's everybody satisfied there. Let's get everyone satisfied here. Let's throw in leisure wear. There we go, that's everyone satisfied there. Let's change that from Boba to energy drinks. This, there we go. All right, that's the shelter done. And then I think we need another hotel at this point. Let's go under guests and just, uh, you know what, let's get a Jurassic World style hotel. Make it a little fancier. As long as it pretty much covers the general area, it doesn't really matter where you put the hotel. There we go. That's another hotel done. And then maybe we could throw some more buildings in for, like, decoration and whatnot. You know what? Let's decorate the place. Well, obviously, we're going to have to put the gyrosphere sign next to it. So what I'm thinking is we put a sign on one side and a, side on, a sign on the other. Doesn't really look even, but whatever. I guess Jurassic World... It's basically what if InGen and Biosyn decided to team up. Which I know would never be a thing, but whatever. We could probably add in some fountains. There we go. I at least have a general idea. Anyway. Maybe we should throw in another dinosaur. Let's finish up this park first. All we have now is Dreadnoughtus, so we'll just throw Dreadnoughtus in. There we go. At least it looks a little more... What? Hold on. Are you drinking the water? The water's all the way over there, mate! What are you doing? Maybe he's drinking the dew or something. I don't know. Is it at least satisfying his water? Might as well leave them alone. Alright, let's release the Dreadnoughtus. Let's just focus on releasing the Dreadnoughtus. And then I had an idea for the Velociraptor enclosure. Because Velociraptors are present in the film. I think it's three males from the Jurassic Park 3 and one female. Let's release the second Dreadnoughtus. Yeah, I wanted to get two of them. Alright, there are 
dinosaurs that are currently too close to the hatchery. So I may have to send them away. Right, I'm gonna need the ranger team for this next mission. Get this out of the way. There we go. I just need to get rid of this path. Wait for the guests to run back to the path. So then I can go with my master plan for the Velociraptor enclosure. There we go. Alright, now I have all this space for the Raptor enclosure. So what I'm thinking... No, no, I want to move. For the raptor enclosure, with I'm thinking we put this here. Oh, there's visible and in invisible. Oh, okay. All the way to here. And then get rid of this extra path here. And then velociraptors. Which are all the way at the end. Now for the velociraptors... We're going to use the Jurassic Park 3 ones, so... We got three males and one female. And then we're going to need some carnivore feeders. There we go. Throw that in. Boom. Alright, let's get the Velociraptors going. So these are the males, so we need... One, two, three of those, and only one of these. So there's the female. There we go. That's the female taken care of. Now let's release the three males. There we go. Alright, that's the four raptors in their new enclosure. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. This next area will be the three apexes, T-Rex, Giganotosaurus, and Therizinosaurus. We could probably throw Giganotosaurus on the left, T-Rex on the right, and then Therizinosaurus in between them. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. So we're gonna make three more enclosures. So this will be the Giga's enclosure. I think we'll just put the one in for now. And then the T-Rexes, we're going to put three in. The, the two Lost World T-Rexes and Rexy. So this will be the Therizinosaurus' enclosure. We can just throw this in. And then the T-Rex can go next to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I at least have a plan anyway. There we go. And then maybe we could put a hotel here as well. Alright, so what else do we want to do? Okay, let's add, for the Therizinosaurus enclosure, we could put water in it. Well, we're going to have to put water in all the enclosures, so we'll just throw water in this enclosure and water in the T-Rex enclosure. Alright, and then we're going to add some forest. Alright. So for the two carnivores, we are going to need some feeders. And then for viewing domes, I'm thinking for the Giganotosaurus, I'm thinking we could throw the Biosyn thing in. As a reference to Dominion. And then we could probably put another one on the other end. 
Okay, I can't cross paths with that, so I can just connect it to this. There we go. All right. And then for the T-Rex, I'm thinking we could have a viewing log. We might have to add a monorail at some point. So what we're going to do, let's put in the monorail first before we do anything. Actually, what we should do is move the hatchery so that I can go in there. What? What do you mean dinosaur threat? That's a Nasuto. I don't know why it's considered a dinosaur threat. You know what? Whatever. Is this open? No, that's closed. Okay. Then what's the problem? I really don't know. Okay. Let's, um... For the monorail, I'm thinking... It's under guests. I'm thinking we throw the monorail here. And then we could have, like, a, um... We could run that through here. We could have a station here. And then we can continue this track all the way over here. The station can go here. And then, boom. There we go. All right. Let's connect those to paths. There we go. The monorail is all set. Now, all we need to do is throw in the dinosaurs. So for the T-Rex, we're obviously going to throw in... Rexy, we're also gonna throw in the the two Lost World T-Rexes. So we're gonna throw you in, and then we're gonna throw the female in. So that way we have three T-Rexes, because that was in the park, three T-Rexes. Okay, we got the T-Rexes cooking up. Let's get a viewing gallery as well to make it more convenient. Up, oh, wrong side. There we go. And then we'll add more amenities in when we're done with this. Okay, so while we wait, let's get a viewing gallery for the Therizino. A viewing dome. We'll get a viewing dome for one side. And another viewing dome for the other side. And then we'll put the viewing gallery in the center. There we go. And we'll have a path going down here. Alright, so what, what I might do is add in some more um, amenities off camera. Alright, let's release the T-Rexes. Starting with Rexy. Throw in water? I did. Okay, good. And what about carnivore feeders? We don't have any carnivore feeders. Um, hold on. Let me get those real quick. Now moving on to the mail from the Lost World. Let's release the third and final T-Rex, the female from the Lost World. Alright, we got the three T-Rexes. Let's move on to the Therizinosaurus. I'm thinking for the Therizinosaurus, we just add in the one. And then maybe later on, if I want to add in another one, then I can. Alright, let's release it. Therizinosaurus. Alright, and now the Giga. So let's go back to the G's, and um, there you are. 
you're obviously going to be the Dominion skin. And then maybe next episode we'll finish it up with Pyroraptor and Dimetrodon. We'll go with the aggressive one. Because the Giganotosaurus is the main villain of Jurassic World Dominion, so it only makes sense. Alright, that's the Giga done. Let's release it. Alright, now we got the big three. Anyway, I actually kind of like the Giganotosaurus's roar. It kind of sounds really cool, in my opinion. Really nice. So now that we got the Giga, let me just get this hatchery out of here. So that's a Biosyn accurate ish park so far. It's Coming along nicely. I am taking up a lot of space, but whatever. You know, it's not really that... There's not really that many dinosaurs to work with in this park, so... Yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. So long.